<laughs> hey y'all, this is Joe and Gail. We're out here at uh, our tiny house out of St. Bernard Acres again. Uh, it's Friday the 16th. Uh, Gail wanted to see what the place looked like. With his, her first time getting to see her with the new window in. And she has to work tomorrow, so she won't get to come out tomorrow. So we ran out here tonight. She can tell me where she wants the closet before I put it in tomorrow. I'll get in trouble for it being in the wrong place. Uh, and another thing I wanted to mention, I had put up a video showing how I was going to do these uh, rafters up here. From, you know, run a board across. And one of my subscribers sent me a link to a video about collar ties uh, for the Raptors. And I'm telling you, that's the, I think I'm willing to take on a project like this that I don't have the experience in building and everything, but you guys, my subscribers, you know, have the knowledge and the experience and are willing to share that and give me ideas and tell me how I should do things. Uh, that makes this invaluable. I mean, that's what makes the channel, for me, what it is. It's not the money. It's all the advice I get. And we were talking about this, these pieces going across here and how I was going to have to leave them up there. And what he sent me showed me how you can work these collar ties since I'm going, I want to put something up across here anyway to have a little channel, I can eliminate those. I don't have to have, there's three of them running across here and I can get rid of them. Uh, and what it entails is placing these boards up in here, like so. These will take the place of that and according to code, yeah, if I have one, every other set of rafters, as long as they're in the top third of the span, and I put four 16-penny nails in each end, then that, those suffice as collar ties. They don't have to be running the whole stretch of it. And I'm going to put one on every set of rafters. And what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see it in this direction or not, but, you know, I stick it right like that and nail it. But what I'm going to do is cut my ends to the angle of the rope deck there and get this further up in there. That'll give me more nailing space to run my four 16 bay nails on each end. And I'm going to put one on every set of rafters and run it across here. And, by, and it'll be about this height right here. So these big ones that run have to span the whole distance, I can eliminate. And this will be our ceiling layout then. And this will be where our lights will hang, ceiling fans will hang electricity will run down this channel and when I insulate and I have my vents, those vents are going away. When I have my vents at the end of each one and my uh, board up there before I put the insulation in, that's where it'll get its ventilation from and get air circulating up inside the ceiling. So I want to thank uh, the tubers world for sending me that link and uh, letting me see how this is done and it's a whole lot better than what I was planning on having to do what I thought I would have to do because I really didn't want to leave those running across here uh, we were going to box it in and make it look like beans just for aesthetics but now that I can eliminate them by putting collar ties in so any of you guys that are buying these buildings, want to convert them, remember you can do that with the ceilings. And replace the big collar ties with smaller collar ties. 
And it's only required, code only requires every other one. I'm putting it on every one. And I'm going to cut an angle. I'll come out here and make, I'll make a pattern tomorrow of the size I need. Then at home, I'll cut them all. I need 22 of them, I believe. I'll cut them all at home because my compound miter saw has pretty heavy amperage and we just have that 1400 watt uh, generator. So rather than drag it out here or hook it up to the generator, I'll cut everything in the house, put them on the truck, bring them out here, and then nail them all in. So that's the new way of doing the collar ties. Uh, and again, thanks to the tubers world for sending me that link and let me see how it's supposed to be done and what code is. And we'll make it happen. So what do you think of the window? It's nice. Do you like it? Yes. Alright. We're putting two more on that wall over there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy them and stick them in there. When we move out of here we won't have the addition done, probably. And after we move here we do the addition. I can use those windows in the addition because that wall is going to come out and if I cut it right I can just use that wall to push it out. Not have to do too much. Then we'll get all of this laid out and uh, figure out where to put windows on this end. But it definitely makes a big difference. But it's going to be cold this weekend. Uh, hopefully we're going to warm up next week and maybe you won't have to work next weekend and you might get to stay out here. I was considering coming out tonight and staying the night because tomorrow night's going to get down to like 28 yeah. and we don't have a heat source out here yet. We don't have any insulation yet and I'm telling you last Sunday when I came out here and put that window in I got here about 10 o'clock in the morning and I bet it was 15 degrees colder inside this building than it was outside. I had to open the windows up and the door up and wait about 20 minutes to let the warmth from outside, where it was cold to be, but let it get in here and warm things up. But the main thing I wanted to show you was, you know, I appreciate what my subscribers suggested and that's what I'm going with. Uh, a lot of things I do out here, I talk about, I'm going to do them post a video about what I'm going to do, then I look at the comments and find out, you know, from you guys who know how to do it, you can tell me what it is I'm supposed to do. And I will follow whatever you suggest, because I don't know. Just like moving this service panel out of the closet, I did not know. But, still like the new window. <laughs> It's still here. It didn't fall out, so I must have done an okay job. But that's our little Friday night video. I'll uh, shoot some video tomorrow uh, framing in that closet. And then we're going to run the rest of the wire in the bedroom. And then next weekend when we come out, bring insulation. And go ahead and insulate the bedroom. Put some drywall up and kind of have that closed off for when we do spend the weekends out here, even if it's cold, we're going to be in an insulated room. It may be cold out here, but it should be warmer in there. Uh, we'll get a little buddy heater to work off a propane tank and uh, have us some little bit of heat. But that's it. We'll talk to y'all later. We're out.